Joining me now for the Trader Rundown is Dan Deming of KKM Financial. And Dan, I wanted to bring you in for a conversation about fundamental trading versus technical trading. I think this is something that beginner traders really need to learn about. And you almost have to decide what matters most in your own mind because it really is up to the individual trader. Right, it is. Yeah, certainly there, there you see success stories and failures in both styles of trading. But, you know, basically encompassing that into your mindset is a key part of what many traders view as part of, you know, their strategy, part of their thought process as they look at different trades and different types of uh, market uh, climates. The first one is easy fundamentals. That's just following what's going on in the world or what's going on with the corporation. The corporation comes out and says we're cost cutting. That's a fundamental. Right, yeah, and, and top line growth, which is revenues and, and sales are certainly fundamentals. And also you have bottom line, which is net sales and revenues so you know it kind of filters down all the costs but those are the fundamentals are very key to analyzing companies and are certainly used when pricing companies a little bit more challenging and something that takes time and involves maybe talking some to traders research. research getting some great books technical trading yep and yep. this is something I know a lot of people would like to be able to do and follow the trends but let's just try to break this down as much as we can sure. with technical trading. The first thing you really want to watch are what? Moving averages. That's, that seems to be, that's certainly a, an area that you can see visually, you can see very clearly. And so a lot of market participants, a lot of traders, investors alike, when they look at the technical patterns, they look at that 50-day moving average and 200-day moving average. And historically, or typically I should say, when you do bring up many of these charting services that are available, they actually put that in right away. So because there's such a demand for it, and really it's a sign of momentum, Angie. Mm -hmm. It shows you kind of short-term momentum, 50-day moving average, and then longer-term momentum, 200-day moving average. So then you can compare the two different averages. And so you've got a short-term average and a long-term average. And based that with the chart pattern that you're seeing, you can come up with what many traders believe is some meaningful information. All right, now this is where I think it's fun. They have all of these patterns that have really cool names, like a head and shoulders. And literally on the chart, you'll see a stock move this way and this way in this way and come down and then their shoulders <laughs> and that's how the visually, chart looks. It's visually, <laughs> it's head it's, and shoulders. Visually it looks like a head and shoulders and yes that is one you have pendants as well and you have uh, rising wedges and declining wedges but yeah head and shoulders when you look at a head and shoulders move Angie it basically is exactly what is described you kind of can look at a pattern and from that you can see maybe the left shoulder forming and then you see a head and then you see the right shoulder and depending on where that right shoulder comes in sometimes will indicate again strength or momentum in the stock and it also indicates where if you break that neckline maybe to the upside, there's further upside for this market to take out that head pattern. If it breaks that shoulder to the downside on the right side, then potentially there's further downside for this stock. So again, another pa pattern that many market participants pay attention to. What are some of your more favorite patterns? Do you have any that you like to watch for? Yeah, well, I like to look at, again, Actually, I don't try to get too advanced. I mean, some mm -hmm. people do, and, and that's certainly their, their prerogative, but uh, I like to look at higher highs and higher lows, or lower highs and lower lows. Again, that to me is momentum, and it, show, it can be very visible when you're looking at a chart. So you can see maybe the strength of historically relative to how the stocks perform. Then if you see a series of lower highs and lower lows, you know, that could glean some information that may, this stock has a probability of going lower. So that's something I watch. And the moving averages are something that we pay very close attention to. Dan, thanks so much for coming on the show today. Much appreciated. All right. Thanks for having me, Ange.